Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So this is another quick update, just like the other day with update 10. Um, so this update doesn't do too much, it adds a few new things here and there and just, yeah, just minor changes elsewhere. So, um, I'll talk about the wall first because this affects the wall. So, um, originally there was only set AV and mod AV, now there's advanced skill. So advanced skill basically allows uh, this shit down here to go up. Um, so it levels the normal way, so if you kill people with arrows and shit, you'll see it level up. Um, that's basically what advanced skill does. Um, the opposite, like set AV and mod AV don't do that. They just set the value, like set AV sets the value, mod AV modifies the value. Um, so they don't actually do that, but um, advanced skill basically mimics um, actually leveling or whatever. So if we select it and we make this like a hundred here and if we look at the skills there you can see the bar is not really full it's just all empty and if we press this and we were to look at the skills now you see that there are bars there now you do level up doing this because apparently you do and you can see the bars have all gone up and of course if you were to um, set it really high you'll level up again and you'll get to like level 70. Yeah, they're doing it at the highest, it's actually about level 70. Um, and you can see all the bars down there are mainly full. I don't know why some of them aren't for, there's some random issue going on there. But, yeah, you can see all the stuff is mainly full. Um, just press it again or something if they're not, I guess. I don't know exactly why some of them aren't, it's really weird. But, yeah, um, Live it up again, apparently. So that's basically what that button does. I'm going to have to reload because that is going to keep popping up. Now, um, there is also the journal stats. So this button here, this this button here is new. So I've had people request uh, a thing which edits these stats in here. I don't think it was possible, but apparently it is. So you can now edit these. Uh, not all of them, just a select few which I just randomly throw in. So, the main one that people wanted me to add was next button. So, yeah, you can now do that. So, if I make myself a vampire. And, um... Uh, just, like, make it real high. And go into here, you can see there's a bunch of just ram shit, really. And all this ram shit, more ram shit. And there's not all of them in there, just a bunch of ram ones, like I said. And... If I press next button, um, you'll see it's now 100,000. And if we press it again, 200,000. And of course, you can like do all of these other ones as well if you want to like invest in stores or something. So you can see all that stuff works. So yeah, I had people request that. I didn't think it was possible. I couldn't really find a way back then. But I was messing around and I stumbled across a thing that I haven't seen before, and I used that. So yeah, that's basically this wall here. Now, um, you cannot remove the stats. If you try to remove the stats, you'll get an error um, because it's, you know, you're not meant to. And I think it may crash the game if you actually do, so I didn't allow that. And advanced skill um, does not affect uh, most of the things on this wall here. Or on most of the things on these panels, the health, the magic and whatnot. It only affects the skills. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't really I don't know what's going to happen when you press these buttons with the advanced skill. Um, it's probably going to do some ram shit, but yeah, um, the advanced skill just affects these. Now, um, in the last update, I did add this button here. Now, this button makes every single NPC basically killable. Some of them still aren't killable because I don't know why Bethesda scripts and shit. Um, so this is like downloading a killable NPC mod. Um, it just allows you to kill most NPCs, really. Um, but instead, this does it via a script. And it does take a few minutes to do its thing. But yeah, if you want actors to be, to be killable. I don't know if it works with children. Um, I don't really test it out, because I don't really care. But, I mean, hey, you can go test it out if you want. It does take time, though. It does take time to do it. Um, there is also a few new rings in here. So, if we go to the rings, um, the section where the new ones are. Um, okay, so cheat speedy time. There was originally only cheat speedy time for the lols. Now, 
this is meant to be called Cheat Speedy Time Times Ten, but I forgot to change the name, and I will after this video. Um, basically, um, this ring sped up time by a factor of ten, and that was really fast. And I figured I'll just add some more options because people may want to have different options here. So you now speed up time by different factors here, like times five, times four, times one point five, and whatnot. I don't really need to show them off because it's pretty self-explanatory. But I, what I'd recommend is not going above times three. When you go above times three, um, ragdolls and things start to tend to glitch out. So if you don't don't want things glitching out really badly, um, stay at three or below three, and you shouldn't have too much problems there. There is also weapon speed. Um, some people wanted this because it was just times five originally, just times five. And now there's some other options in here, so this just lets you hit faster um, with your weapons and stuff. And I think I did something with game options, uh, the game options here. Uh, did I edit anything else in this room? I can't remember, I probably did, but oh well. I don't have my catalog, uh, not my catalog, my patch notes on my second monitor, so I can't see what I've changed. Because, <laughs> you know, I forget what I've changed. No, you're not talking. I hate it when they talk when I come in here. So, um, these options in here, there is, I haven't tested this, but um, there is now a, a different method for how this works. Um, originally with these weather options, you'd pick them, and they'll fade after some certain amount of time or some ram time. Um, this doesn't happen anymore, or it shouldn't. Um, they should stay um, for as long as, you know, for, forever, um, I guess, until a script runs a certain command, or you press this release override. Um, so you can see, uh, it's already disappearing, the storm's already dissipating. So, yeah, you can see the storm's going away, and the sky's coming back, oh, the sky's coming back, what the fuck am I saying? The thing's coming back. So, yeah, this should work. I don't know if it actually does work. I haven't really tested it. But, hey, now um, you can walk around and have weather. Um, that should stick for as long as um, a command isn't run. Um, and I don't think Skyrim would have this command run unless it's doing certain things in different world spaces. So, yeah, if you want to run weather to stick, this should do that. So, like, if you want this summon guard one to stick, um, then, yeah, it should stick. Um, until it, the command runs it. I keep repeating myself, I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that, but, yeah, that's basically been this, and I don't know if I mentioned, but you do press this to get rid of it, the release override, so if you want to remove the weather that you've currently got enabled, you need to press this, or else it'll stay there forever until the, like I said before, the things run, which probably never will happen. But, yeah, um, hopefully that works. And that's basically been this quick little update. Um, I was going to add some other stuff, but um, I didn't really see the point, so I didn't. I was going to add some stuff where you pick up, whatever you pick up, you could do some options with it, like disable it. So like, if you, what the fuck? If you like wanted to, um, what's something to test out here? God damn it! There's like if you wanted to disable the sword, um, you can pick it up, um, open the options menu and press some button, and it would disable it. But yeah, um, that's basically that, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I guess even though it wasn't really that interesting. And, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video, and have a good one.